All right, so then I want to kind of show you how to replace a vacuum belt. Uh, the vacuum I'm actually working on this is a Bissell Momentum Cyclonic. Uh, the belt's been slipping on it for a couple of years now, so I kind of want to see if I can't get it fixed. And I went to Walmart today and bought some new belts for it, so these should work, I hope. So, in order to get to the, uh, hang on, I gotta see what I gotta take off here. Okay, I don't have to take off anything, so hopefully you can see that better. I pushed it back. So, what you want to do first is uh, locate the uh, flathead tab, the tabs, as you can see right there. Want to put a flathead screwdriver on pop every one of those out by simply getting the screwdriver between this just working it working it through yeah keep in mind this one is not all I hope those work Nope, it's not going to work. We'll see. But you want to get the... Uh, try to get the belt right here, which is where the, fan, the motor itself is located. Okay, I got the belt on, but I don't know if it's going to work at all. We'll see. smaller than I'd like it to be but and the thing is once you get this belt on they are a pain in the butt to put the brush roll back in. All right. Now, hopefully, I got this fixed. So. Just a moment of truth. Will the vacuum burn this belt? Um, or will it uh, work? So, we got the belt put on. Okay. The belt's already on. My old belt was pretty stretched out, so. Right here is the original belt that it came with. Sure, this is all the way away from the edge because if it's not, it'll come off. But we'll find out whether or not to burn that belt. Okay, so I got the belt installed now. Okay. I've got the belt installed. I'm 
going to plug this in. brush roll is going to work now. I'm back. Sorry about that. The thing on the circuit breaker or the outlet in my mom's room was busted. It was not working. Okay. And that's how you replace the belt on a Bissell Momentum Cyclonic. Thanks for watching.